I found the phrase of uh, Walter P. Chrysler. He said Chrysler is about giving or providing style, quality and innovation that were born for a few or maybe said for the uh, privileged few and delivering it to the masses. So something like bridging aspiration and ownership, which, is, which I think is the essence of the American dream. At the beginning of the process, one year ago, it was not called 200, it was called New Sebring. We didn't know exactly where we were headed. We just told the engineers, look, take the car, dissect it totally, make one million different pieces of it, analyze it one by one, and then the assignment is very simple. Just assess it. If it's good enough, or as good as we think we deserve, you keep it, no problem. If you don't think it makes that job, if you don't think it, it, it uh, lives up to the expectation of the brand, just drop it, no compromise. So they started executing. At the end of the day, um, and, and on top, we said, you have 12 months to do that. But still, 12 months are 12 months. You can't make a brand new car. So they kept, the only thing they kept, or more, most of it, uh, is the roof line and the doors. And we changed all the rest. This car has um, V6, not any V6. We developed a brand new, uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It delivers 283 horsepower. It is best in class. No other V6 on the market in this segment um, delivers more power. It is still very fuel efficient, saying that it is uh, a 29 mile per gallon car, so uh, extremely fuel efficient. Um, then we revisited all the drivetrain, suspension, Rear, front and rear axle, uh, brakes, tires, springs, uh, shocks, everything in order to uh, give it um, a driving which has to be at the best level of any European car. So take some cues, some elements, some uh, details, signals of premiumness, of luxury. Look at this grill, it's not just the classical grill, it's sculpted. It has uh, beautiful shapes, the materials, the interiors, trying to uh, take any opportunity of designing gauges like you design jewelry.